I'm a longtime professional player. Now I'm still out there extracting money from casinos as you can see and I can't give my real name or show my face. But this is a tell-all. In this course I tell exactly what it takes to beat a casino in blackjack. All the secrets of winning blackjack, no heavy math, only addition and subtraction. If you look at this course, you'll know how to become a winning player. Be that David against the casino Goliaths. Watch this video. Welcome to the Definitive Card Counting course. In the next seven chapters, you will learn everything you need to know to beat a casino in blackjack. Let's get started. Chapter 1. What is card counting and why does it work? Well, card counting is a form of mathematics that is called a dependent sequential event. Let me give you an example. If I were to roll these dice and roll a 5 and pick them up and go to roll them again, the dice have no memory of what was just rolled. Dice is called an independent sequential event. There is no memory. But if I take this deck of cards and I remove this ace and king, these cards now remember that the ace and king are gone. So the chances of drawing to a blackjack are less. The chances of drawing a blackjack are dependent upon what cards are remaining in the deck. And that is the secret to card counting. Now in card counting, small cards are good for the house and big cards are good for player. So let me give you an example. Let me remove a few cards from the deck here and put them in the discard tray. Now for the sake of, sake of illustration, I'm going to expose what is in the discard tray. And as you can see, I have all small cards. This means that the deck remembers that these small cards are gone and it makes it better for the player in four different ways. Now, First of all, since small cards are gone, we're going to put out a big bet for the player because when cards are, small cards are gone, the player has an advantage. The advantage, first off, is blackjacks. Because these small cards are gone in the discard tray, the chances of drawing to a blackjack are greatly increased. Now, I don't know where the blackjack is going to land. It could land on the player, it could land on the neighbor of the player, or it could land on the dealer. But the nice thing about it is when the dealer gets the blackjack, the player only loses his bet. But when the player gets the blackjack, he wins his bet plus a half. Blackjack pays three to two. Now, in the long run, the blackjacks to the player and the dealer will equal. And that is one advantage of a card counting system when you know that small cards are in the discard tray. Now when I say the long run, the next five blackjacks that come out could be all for the dealer. I'm talking about over a thousand different hands. The number of blackjacks will be equal between the player and the dealer. The second way in which the player has an advantage is that when the player has a bad hand and the dealer has a bad hand. Now the rules of the game are fixed for the dealer but the player has options. Now in this case the player would have a 16. He would always stand when a dealer has a 6, a face up. That's basic strategy. When the dealer flips over his card you can see that the dealer has a 16. Now let's take a minute and look over in the discard tray. All of the cards that would help the dealer make a hand are sitting in the discard tray. 
that two, three, five, four, and five would all give the dealer a hand. So with the cards that can help the dealer being in the discard tray, it means the dealer will bust more often on that 16. And of course, he will bust more often on the 16 when we have our big bet out because we knew that the small cards were gone. So this is the second way in which the player can gain an advantage by card counting over the dealer. The third way is in double downs. When we make a double down, we are usually looking for that big card. And with small cards in the discard tray, there's more big cards in the deck, which means we're going to make our double downs more frequently. The fourth way is called index plays, and I'll explain that further down, I believe, in Chapter 5. But that is an additional way in which the player gains an advantage over the house by counting cards, basically knowing how many small cards are in the discard tray and how many big cards are remaining in the deck. Because the odds in this deck are dependent on what cards have left the deck. I have a small correction I'd like to make on Chapter 1. Technically not a correction, it's just an addition. When I was given the example of the dealer busting when the small cards were in the discard tray, and I just maybe implied that the dealer would only bust on a 16. But no, any time the dealer would have the 16, 15, 14, 13, or 12, meaning a stiff hand for the dealer, and the small cards would be over here in the discard tray, the dealer would have a greater chance of busting. And technically, it does not matter what the player would have, because this is the important thing. The dealer has a stiff, small cards are in the discard tray, and it would increase the dealer's chance of busting on any of his stiffs, the 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Well, that's the introduction and concludes Chapter 1. Let's move on to Chapter 2. If you like what you've just seen, you need to see the other six chapters. Go to www.blackjacksolutions.info. It is written on the sidebar. Here's just a preview of what you can learn in this course. In Chapter 2, we discuss game selection and how to determine the house edge off the top of the shuffle. Chapter 3 is the meat of it. Let's get counting, how you can count down a deck, and what that count means in all the different decks, single, double, four, six, and eight decks. I show lots of charts and graphs there, make it easy to learn. Chapter 4 is important. Betting, bankroll requirements, how to size your bet and your bet ramp so that you keep your risk of ruin to a minimum. Chapter 5 is index plays. This is a must to be a winning player. It ha tells you how to adjust your play according to whether a deck is cold, warm, and hot. And Chapter 6 is an extra. This is those little secrets that pros know that you don't know. And finally in Chapter 7, I do a summary and discuss step by step exactly what you need to do to become a winning player, become that David against the Casino Goliaths.